Hi, this is Father Engel, your pastor, and here I am again. I'm so happy to be with you again, at least to this uh, video. And uh, first and foremost, I'm, I would like to tell you that uh, in this time of pandemic, uh, everything is still going on with what we've been used to do here at St. Joseph in Mountain View. Um, I just want to make uh, mention of the things that we do here. For example, we have our daily mass as usual. We have it at two o'clock. And the reason why we have it at two o'clock is because uh, we have some things after mass, like the holy hour that comes with it. And we have the holy hour before the Blessed Sacrament, we expose the Blessed Sacrament. And from there, we uh, do some reflections. And then at three o'clock, we have the, uh, the prayer of the Divine Mercy. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we decided to have it at 2 o'clock. And uh, things are going so well so, so far since we started it due at the start of the lockdown. And uh, we, we find it uh, very convenient for people to come at 2, followed by the holy hour, and then we end by about 3.30 in the afternoon. And I'm inviting all of you to please join us if it's possible. Also, we have confessions every Saturday, as usual. We have it at 4 o'clock, and we have it at the, at the church plaza. You know, you'll see us there with our mask and uh, with all the safety measures that we have to follow, certain protocols that we are obliged to follow to protect us and to protect uh, everyone else. And that's why I encourage you to come for confession, but please put on your mask when you come for confession. Also, during this week and uh, last week and the weeks to come, uh, we have confirmations, we have First Holy Communions. In fact, uh, one thing special this year is that we do the confession, or I'm sorry, the uh, confirmations and First Holy Communion one by one. So every, every week, at least two or three of our kids or, or our children come for, conf uh, for uh, confirmation and for Holy Communion. And it, it's so nice to see because only the families, direct members of the families are around. And so it makes even the first communion for, uh, for the child to be very special because uh, she or he is alone in that, uh, in that first Holy Communion. Also, I have my confirmation classes with, uh, with the high school students every Saturday at 11 o'clock. Again, it's a, through a distance learning. And I think I learned now to enjoy having Zoom meetings with, uh, with our children, especially with our confirmation class. So looking into all of this, uh, I feel that the, the work is kind of enormous, great, and uh, and yet, I, I need something. And you know what I need? Not only strength, but I need wisdom. And I think that's exactly what I believe is uh, what all of us need at this moment of the pandemic. Wisdom that comes from God. In fact, uh, in, the, in today's, uh, or rather in this week's uh, reading from the Sunday Mass, we shall be reading from the uh, book of Kings, you know, the, the story about uh, Solomon. In the first reading, for example, for this Sunday, it speaks about the encounter between God and Solomon in a dream. And Solomon was anointed to succeed his father David. So young Solomon did not know what to do. And so when the Lord appeared to him in a dream, he was told to ask from God what he wants. And in that dream, Solomon told God. And this is what it says. You find that in the book of Kings, 1 Kings in chapter 3, verse 9. He says, Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? So he understood the enormity of that uh, responsibility that was put on his shoulder. And therefore, Solomon was asking for wisdom. 
a wisdom that comes from above, not just a wisdom that is purely human. So you see here that the task entrusted to Solomon was so enormous, and you know that to be king is not an easy job. And Solomon knew the difficulties. He understood the challenges and the responsibility that goes with this task before God and His people. And so Solomon was aware that left to himself, he can do nothing. He needed guidance from the Lord. So you see, friends, that to be wise does not necessarily mean to be intelligent. You know, I know a lot of intelligent people who are never wise. Some intelligent people who's, who I know, and some of them are even are my friends, are sometimes not wise enough. Many intelligent people sometimes make wrong choices in their lives. But always remember this, though intelligence is complementary to wisdom, intelligence can never surpass wisdom. Because wisdom is the ability to distinguish between right and wrong. Wisdom is the capacity to make right and well-informed choices. So that here we see that wisdom is for those who have well-formed conscience. What does the Bible say about wisdom? You find it Proverbs in chapter 9, verse 10, where it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Wisdom is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit to us that we should never forget. We should always remember that. It is the gift of wisdom that makes us realize the importance of Jesus in our lives. It is wisdom that makes us understand the role of the church in our lives and the responsibility that goes with it. It is the gift of wisdom that makes us seek God and allow Him to transform us to the power of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom is what makes us choose God before all else. It is this wisdom that comes from God which will help us secure a place in the heavenly kingdom. So looking at all of these friends, we must realize this. In everything that we do as God's children, in every decision we make in our lives, in every choice that we do for ourselves, we must always ask for that wisdom that comes from God. We have to pray for wisdom. The book of wisdom, for example, in chapter 9, verses 5 to 7, makes clear to us what it means to be wise. It says, Give me the wisdom that sits by your throne, for I am your servant, weak and short-lived, with little understanding of judgment and laws. For even one who is perfect among human beings will be regarded as nothing without the wisdom that comes from you. So, learn to be wise. Let Jesus be your guide. Seek Him always, and you won't regret it. May God bless you. Amen. Amen.